What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 4 casual male triad outfit video. So the first outfit that I'm wearing right here is going to be the first outfit I'm going to show you how to make. So for this outfit, you will just want to go ahead and head to the Diamond Casino for this. When you are at the casino, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go into the clothing section over here. Once you are here, go over here and head to the tops. When you do get to the tops, scroll down until you find hoodies, which is right here on slot 9. So just click on hoodies. And you're going to want to go ahead and buy the yellow waterproof, which is on slot 35. So after you do buy the yellow waterproof, you can now back out of the, back out of the hoodies. And now for the rest of this outfit, you will just want to go ahead and head to a clothing store. Once you are at the clothing store, you're going to want to walk over here to your tops. When you do get to your tops, scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 53. And you're going to be buying the yellow straps vest, which is on slot 20. So after you do buy the yellow straps vest, you can now back out of the tops and head over here to your pants. When you do get to the pants, scroll down to leather pants, which is right here on slot 11. Click on leather pants and go ahead and look for the black leather low crotch jeans, which are on slot 4. And after you do have those leather pants, you can now back out of the pants section and head over here to your shoes. Whenever you do get to the shoes, scroll down to sneakers which is on slot two, click on sneakers and buy the Sting high top sneakers, which are on slot 15. And now after you do have the shoes back out, walk over here to the accessories. For the accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and you're gonna be buying the refuse collector gloves, which are on slot 54. And now after you do have your accessories back out, head over here to your hats. When you get to the hats, scroll down to caps forward, which is on slot four, and you're going to want to go and equip the yellow sweat box snapback, which is on slot 70. Now, after you do equip the yellow sweat box snapback, you can go ahead and back out of the hats. And you're going to want to go ahead and just head to the mask store for this outfit. When you do get to the mask store, head over here to your mask. Go ahead and scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19. Click on ski mask and you're going to be looking for the yellow camo face, which is on slot 2 and just equip that mask on your character. So the hat and mask should already combine together. And now you can back into the mask, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to hood. And whenever you guys are on hood, make sure you do set it to up. So just hit right on the D pad once. And whenever you do hit right, right on the D pad once, it'll say up. And if you guys want your hood down, you guys can just hit right on the D pad again. But after your character's hood is up, this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can go ahead go back over here to your tops or your hat or mask and you can just hit edit saved outfits save this outfit on whichever slot you want and now we can go ahead and work on the second outfit this is going to be the second outfit i'm going to show you how to make so whenever you do get to the clothing store you're going to want to walk over here to your tops once you do get to your tops scroll down until you find designer hoodies which is going to be right here on slot 37 so just click on designer hoodies and go and equip the patchwork guffy hoodie which is on slot 26. So after you do equip this hoodie, you can back out of your tops and just walk over here to your pants. Once you do get to the pants, you can go ahead and click on jeans, which is on the first slot. And you're gonna be looking for the tartan fitted, which is on slot 30 and just go ahead and equip the tartan fitted. After you do equip those jeans, you can now back out of the pants, head over here to the accessories. When you do get to the accessories, scroll down to gloves, go ahead and click on gloves. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and equip the black woolen gloves, which are on slot 58. And now after you do have your accessories back out, head over here to the shoes. Once you are at the shoes, scroll down to sports shoes, which is on slot nine, click on sports shoes and go ahead and buy the all white sports shoes, which is on slot 28. And now once you do have these shoes, you can now back out and we're going to go ahead and head to the mask store for this outfit. When you do get to the mask store, you can walk over here to your mask, go ahead and scroll down to the diamond casino heist, which is on slot six and go ahead and equip the black skull neck gator, which is on slot 83. So after you do equip the black skull neck gator, you can now back out of the mask and for you to put on your hood, you can just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your hood and hit right on the D pad once. So then you guys can set it to up. But just let me know if you do get in a vehicle or on a vehicle like a No Presser Mark II, your hood will come off. But don't worry, you can put it back on later because we're going to be putting on the flight tube. Uh, yeah, we're going to be putting on the flight tube with this outfit. So you're just going to want to go ahead and head to this clothing store that is right across from the strip club. 
whenever you do get to the clothing store next to the strip club, a thing I did forget to say is put on your parachute. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, make sure you do set it to on. And as your parachute bag, make sure it's set to the black combat shoot bag. If you guys do not have the black combat shoe bag and you guys aren't able to equip it on your character, you can either get on your oppressor and be able to put it on through that way. Or if you don't have the black shoe bag, you can go ahead and go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then you can buy the black combat shoe bag from there and then equip it on your character just like how I showed you right here. And so after you do have your parachute on your character, for the hoodie, since you did get on a vehicle to drive here, you guys will have to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to hood, and make sure you do set it to up just like this. And now after you did set your hood to up, this is what your outfit will look like without the flight tube so far. So after your outfit looks like this, you can now go ahead, go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you did save this outfit, you can go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits, Scroll down to flight suits, which is on slot 9, and you're going to want to go ahead and equip the, the black flight suit, which is on slot 2. After you do equip the black flight suit, you're now going to want to go ahead and run across the street to the strip club. Once you are at the strip club, you will just want to go ahead and walk inside. Whenever you do walk inside, you guys will see that the flight tube does come off whenever you walk inside the door. So whenever you do see the flight tube does come off your character, pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to style, scroll down to your outfit, and go ahead and select the outfit that we just saved that we're putting the flight tube on. So go and equip that outfit, and this is what it should look like. After you do equip this outfit, you can go ahead and now walk outside the, the strip club, and whenever you walk outside the strip club, you should see that the flight tube does transfer over to this outfit right here. And now, so don't get inside of a vehicle or on your oppressor. You're going to want to go ahead and run back to the clothing store across the street and just save this outfit. Once you do save your outfit, that's pretty much it. Just letting you know, whenever you get in a vehicle or on your oppressor, your hood will come off, so you can just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and since you did save the outfit, you can just re-equip the outfit and your hood will come back on. So, so after you did save this outfit, that's pretty much it. So now we can go ahead and work on the third outfit. Okay guys, so for the third outfit, this is gonna be the third outfit I'm gonna show you how to make. So whenever you are at the clothing store, walk over here to your tops, once you do get to your tops, scroll down until you do find sweaters, which will be right here on slot 39. So just click on sweaters and you're going to be looking for the black turtleneck, which will be right here on slot 69. So just equip the black turtleneck. After you do equip the black turtleneck, go ahead and back out of the sweaters and scroll back up near the top until you do find overcoats, which will be right here on slot 17. So go ahead and click on overcoats and you're going to be equipping the red wool coat, which is on slot 23. After you do have the overcoat equipped on your character, uh, now whenever you do have your tops, you can back out of your tops and just head over here to your pants. When you do get to the pants, go ahead and click on jeans, which is on slot 1, and buy the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. And now after you do have the jeans, you can back out of the pants, head over here to the accessories. Once you do get to the accessories, scroll down to gloves, go ahead and click on gloves, and buy the black fingerless gloves which are on slot 56. Once you have the gloves equipped on your character you can go ahead and back up the accessories and just head over here to the shoes. When you do get to the shoes scroll down to arena war shoes which is on slot 14 click on arena war shoes and you're going to be buying the black and red light ups which are on slot 37. After you do have the shoes you can go ahead and back out and for this outfit you will just want to go ahead and head to the mask store. After you do get to the mask store, you're going to want to walk over here to the mask. Go ahead and scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist, which is on slot 6. And you're going to want to go ahead and buy the Red Net Gator, which is right here on slot 93. So go ahead and equip the Red Net Gator. After you do equip the Red Net Gator, back out of the mask. Walk over here to the hats, which are on the left side, or which is on the left side. Scroll down to Biker Helmets whenever you get to the hats, which is right here on slot 21. So go ahead and click on Biker Helmets. And you're just going to want to go and equip the, the black spiked, which is on slot 30. And after you do equip this helmet, you can go ahead and back out. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can go ahead and just save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now we can go ahead and work on the final outfit. 
When you are back at the clothing store, this is gonna be the final outfit I'm gonna show you how to make. So for this outfit, once you are back at the clothing store, head over here to your tops, scroll down until you find designer hoodies, which is gonna be right here on slot 37. So go ahead and, go ahead and click on designer hoodies, and you're gonna be looking for the red camo bigness hoodie, which is on slot 31. After you do equip the designer hoodie, you can back out of the tops, head over here to the pants, and whenever you do get to the pants, Scroll down to leather pants, which is right here on slot 11. Click on leather pants, and you're going to be looking for the black leather low crotch pants, which are on slot 10. After you do equip those leather pants, go ahead and back out of the pants section. Head over here to the accessories. For the accessories, just scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the black leather gloves, which are on slot 60, and go ahead and equip those gloves on your character. After you do have your accessories, you can now back out. Head over here to the shoes. For the shoes, scroll down to sneakers which is on slot two, and go ahead and equip the all red studded sneakers, which are on slot four. And now that you do have the shoes, go ahead and back out. For this outfit, you're just gonna wanna walk over here to the hats, scroll down to caps forward, which is on slot four, and buy the red bigness cap, which is on slot 42. After you do have the red bigness cap, you can back out of the hat section, walk over here to the glasses. For the glasses, scroll down to sports glasses, click on sports glasses, and go ahead and buy the red scale urban ski which is on slot five or if you guys don't like these and you guys want to have it closer with like the red you can go ahead and put on the tropical urban ski which is on slot nine but i didn't use these because it has like blue on it and i don't know it's just up to you whichever you want but i'm just going to be using the gray scale urban ski so after you do have the the goggles that you want with this outfit you can now go ahead and head to the mask store for this outfit once you get to the mask store, walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, click on ski mask, and go and equip the black tight ski, which is on slot 114. So after you do equip this mask, you can go ahead and back out, and for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, and on your parachute, make sure it's set to on, and as your bag, make sure you do have the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, you will want to go ahead and go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, and scroll up to the parachute, scroll, go to parachute bags, and look for the black combat shoe bag, and go ahead and buy that black combat shoe bag. After you do buy the parachute bag, you can go ahead and equip it just like I showed you. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, and make sure your parachute's set to on, and make sure your bag is set to the black combat shoe bag. And now, after you do have that, we can now do the telescope glitch, so then we can combine the grayscale urban ski, or the goggles, with the hat and the mask. When you do get to a telescope, either at your apartment or on the pier, go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So go and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the gray scale urban ski, or you can go ahead and use the red scale urban ski. Just one of those, and after you do have one of those urban skis on, you can now walk away from the telescope, and your mask and goggles should combine. So now you're going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. Whenever you do the telescope glitch, your goggles and your mask will come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your hats until you do find the red bigness cap. Once you do find the red bigness cap, you can go ahead and put away your interaction menu and just walk away from the telescope. And whenever you walk away from the telescope, you should see that the mask, the goggles, and the hat do combine all together. So now you can just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, Scroll down to the bottom where it says hood, just hit right on the d-pad once and you should be able to put it up just like this. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's all for these outfits. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy these casual outfits that I make. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.